Okay, repent and repentance for the book of Exodus. Turn to chapter 13 of Exodus. We're going to start Exodus 13, turned right, almost right to it. Uh, verse 17 and 18. And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Let's peradventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. So we see here repentance falls under definition three, to change the mind and consequence of inconvenience or injury done. What's going on here, and I'll do a map, I'll go through a map with you guys after this. If you look at the map, the straightest line for the longest time, and we'll, I'll get to the map and talk to you guys about it, but bottom line, God didn't want the Jewish people to go into war with the Philistines and have them repent and basically say that we shouldn't have left Egypt. Okay. We should not have left Egypt. We need to go back to Egypt. Okay, Getting away from Egypt for good is what they're supposed to do, and they, God didn't want them repenting of that, saying, okay, it's not good to be out of Egypt. We're going to go back to Egypt. So, After this, I'll show you the map. So, We'll go there. All right. The thing is, is what they're talking about, what we just read, is going from here, Sokoth, down to here, Etham, down to Migdol, across, that's where they cross, to Balzaphon, and then down to Mount Sinai. Okay. The, uh, some people say they came farther north, or south, I'm sorry, came farther south, but the point is, is the the way they traveled, the way God wanted them to, so they didn't go off in any direction where they'd run into people where they would war with, because God didn't want them repenting of coming out of Egypt, changing their minds, saying, you know, we're going back to Egypt. Leaving Egypt's good, it's great, and then they changed their mind that we want to go back to Egypt. So that was the whole point. God had it planned out so they wouldn't repent and go back to Egypt. So... Okay, the next place in Exodus that has repentance, the word repent, is Exodus 32. So we're going to go to Exodus chapter 32, verse 7. If you want to turn there in your Bibles, I, I, I think you should have your Bibles on you. Verse 7. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee down for, the, for thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sanctified thereunto, and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. Okay. Right here we've got, I'm going to jump ahead and let you know, it has to do with, uh, once again, to change the course of prudential dealings. This is what God's going to do. Okay. Now Moses is going to plea that God you know, changes his providence, that he doesn't do that. And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why doth thou wrath, why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt? It's a little windy out here. So I'll be pausing sometimes. With great power and with a mighty hand. Wherefore should the Egyptian speak and say, For mischief did the did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and, and Israel, 
Remember, your name's no longer Jacob, but Israel. Thy servants, to whom thou warst by thine own self, and saddest unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars in heaven. And all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and, thy, and they shall inherit it forever. So this is Moses pleading with them. Okay. Verse 14, after Moses pleads for Israel, what does God do? And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. And we're going to find out here in a second what, what he changed his providence to. So he was going to destroy all the Jewish people except for Moses, and he was going to start all over with Moses. Because Moses is of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So Moses pleads with him, saying, please don't do this, Lord. So the Lord hears Moses' pleas, and he changes his providence. What's God going to do instead? And Moses turned, let's get 15. Moses turned and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testament were in both hands. Actually, let's jump down. I'm sorry, I was, we can read all that, but jump down to verse 26. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Okay, this is God, Lord, uh, saying... This is how he's changing his providence, how he's going to deal with the people. Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from the gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. God when God repents, it's not that he sinned, it's he's changing his providence, how he's going to deal with something. First, he said, I'm going to destroy everybody, and I'm going to start all over with Moses. Moses pleads with him, Lord, please don't do that. The Lord repents. What's that repent? Repentant. Or what's that repent? He's saying, okay, I won't kill everybody. But still, 3,000 people died. This is how God chose to deal with it. It's a change in how God's going to deal with something. That's what it means when God repents. doesn't mean that he's a sinner. You have a lot of people who fight repentance as part of salvation, because if it's repentance as part of salvation, then when God repents, it's saying he's a sinner. No, brothers and sisters in Christ, it's talking about a change in providence, how he's going to deal with the situation. Okay. So those are the only two times that repent is mentioned in the book of Exodus. So we'll see you in the next one.